a John Bauer tarot uh, through Los Scabiro. I wasn't, this wasn't in my field, wasn't anything. <laughs> um, shower hair. Um, but I saw this at Chapters, did a quick look on my iPod and saw a few other um, images of the cards. I'm like, I'm gonna pick this one up. It wasn't until I read the little booklet that's inside who John Bauer is. So, that's always, <laughs> that's always fun. Um, so, when you first open and unseal a little plastic that's inside, you get this extra front card with the backing there. And then this ring, the usual kind of card from, <laughs> not usual, but a lot of them have that card in it. But you get this like rustic red and green backing to it. So you know what's with this one, you know which is upright and which one is reverse cards, so yeah. <laughs> and then like something just grabbed me about the like illustrations. You do, like for the major arcana, you don't get the one, the magician, you just get one, one. So, and you get these interesting looking images. They're like, yeah, some you get a balance of the light and darkness of it, but there's just something about the illustrations of what I saw, um, like there's this, and then, okay, so, so like this is like two of cups. For Six of Cups, you get this kind of image. Seven, you get... So, it's like... I, like, don't know how to really explain his like illustrations painting oh here's like example of like cork card kind of image so you get This one's kind of cute. So it's like quirky and odd. And you do get like these nice images out of this. So yeah, so. as I filmed before the book. For those like me who don't know who John Bauer is, um, it's a, so he is a Swedish painter and illustrator from 1882 to 1918. He incorporated fantastical, 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 I can't talk, uh, landscapes and mythology into his art, creating a vast dreamy body of work among his favorites, favorite subjects to paint were the landscapes of his home country, the, 
the folklore of Europe and the interplay between the two. Amazingly, each piece of art were created started off as a tiny sketch and then expanded out with each iteration to fit the canvas he painted on. Uh, he didn't have a favored medium, instead using whatever he had during the time. During his career, he, he painted over 1,000 works of art, many of which can be seen in museums and galleries over the world today. So, this deck uses images or parts of the images from his paintings to um, have been assembled to create the deck. And so, yeah, so each card is either a section or like a good portion of his artwork. So, if you're interested in mythology, fantasy, painter um, rep representation in tarot, this could be a deck for you because like, like that could be the, a painting just as is or part of one, but likely it's just likely that. Um, this might having a more open painting image to it, but yeah, it's fantas like fantasy, you, you do get them, like the myth of it, like the mythology and everything of it, so, and you get like bits of like nature and like you get light and dark, the light and shadow kind of thing of, of life. So, balances out and just really nice and okay. So if you do get this deck, Eight of Wands. What's Eight of Wands? <laughs> yeah. Um, so I'm just going to leave it at that. So... It's really, uh, like, I I just got this stack at the time of recording, so I haven't really worked fully with it yet. I've just glanced over the cards, but it does seem like a very interesting deck to have a look at, flip through, and incorporate, and just really nice. <laughs> so, yeah, the John... Barrow Tar Tarot. Happy readings.